talk about Hot Chop PTCG, formerly known as the Slowpoke World. Now, the meta at the minute, the sort of tippy top tier decks, can be described as a bit of a meta triangle, okay? On one corner, you have the Urshifu VMAX decks. On the other corner, you have the Eternatus decks. At the top corner, you have the Psychic Calyrex decks. And it goes around like this, Urshifu beats uh, Eternatus, Eternatus beat Psychic Calyrex and it goes a bit like this and no matter how you cut it your deck will lose to one of them but I have a way of taking those Urshifu decks and beating not only the Eternatus decks but beating the Calyrex decks as well now that sounds pretty good right stick around the video and I'll show you how so Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX is our build around a VMAX Pokemon with 430 HP with two really cool attacks. So we've got Gale Fuss for one energy, does 30 damage plus 120 if this Pokemon started to turn on the bench and became the act. Seeing how good of an attack this can be with stuff like Galissapod and there's no exception. We saw people like Azul take this Rapid Strike Urshifu all the way to victory in the Players Cup. So we know how good of an attack this is. But it's not, it doesn't only stop there. Now I would argue this is his best attack by far. G Max Rapid Flow. For three energies, two fightings, one curlus, you can snipe two of your opponent's Pokemon for 120 damage each. Now, doesn't doesn't apply weakness to the bench. Now, before Chilling Rain, this was capped out at 150 damage max. If you have a telescopic sight, you can do 150 to the bench. Obviously, more to the actor. If you hit the Dene and the actor, that's going to be KO'd, right? But now, Chilling Rain gives this Urshifu one killer bench sitter. And in my opinion, it makes Rapid Strike awfully awfully silly we have this persimian and this deck is built around using utilizing this persimian's ability in combination with gmax rapid flow to start doing silly damage to the bench KOing crobats on the bench that's scary right let's have a look so we got ourselves persimian basic bogue 110 hp with that cool ability throwing coach you know, we'll turn that Earth into Tom Brady, baby. Uh, your Rapid Strike Pokemon's attacks do an extra 30 to your bench, your opponent's bench Vs or GX. Now, let me show you why this is silly. If you have a Persimmon on the bench and you do G Max Rapid Flow, you now go up to 150 to your opponent's bench Vs, Crobats, and other stuff. Not bad. Still slightly short of the Denids and Crobats, though, right? Put a telescopic sight on there. Now you're doing 180 to the bench. KO in Crobat and then they just sitting there chilling whilst potentially threatening active as well. And we want to be able, and this list lets us do rapid flow multiple turns. Because you have to discard your energy. You can't do it on back to back turns. But with this list, you can. Let me show you how. So we are pairing Urshifu with Moltres B. Basic Pokemon 220 HP with the awesome ability Dire Flame Wings. Once you're in your turn, you can get a Dark Energy from your discard pile and attach it to this Pokemon. Now, you can't use multiple of these abilities in a turn. That would be a bit silly, right? But what this does, this Moltres covers two things for us. Okay, number one, it gets another energy into play. So we can just Rapid Flow, attach a, a Rapid Strike Energy, Dire Flame Wings, energy switch rapid flow again right immense amount of pressure being done but not only that this Moltres is a dark type what is psychic calyrex weak to dark so in that matchup what we can do as well as our jirachi gx which will remove our psychic weakness so that's one wrinkle right we can also use this Moltres and start attacking with this so let's say we're playing against Moltres. what we can do we can start setting up an Urshifu with a Jirachi, right? But and have a bench Galarian Moltres just chilling. So if we can take one three prize KO with our Urshifu or KO some bench sitters, we can then come with this Moltres to threaten that one shot on that Psychic Calyrex at all times. Also, Trevenar and Gengar Mimic, you are all weak to dark. So no matter what variant you're playing, if you can get some energy onto this Moltres ASAP, you will be able to clear away uh, Ghost Rider, Shadow Rider, I should say, uh, quite easily and all their friends too sounds pretty fun right let's get into the games though baby jeez okay so we've got some rapid strike uh urshifu moltres coming at ya let's see how we do okay we got a peek on so it's kind of good that we led our jirachi i guess but um they could KO it then. 
I'm assuming they play peak one. They, they, they normally do, right? In this matchup, though, we get some good value from Urshifu, for sure. It's a shame you have to research this away. This hand isn't very good. Um, one hammer down, things you like to see. I guess Moltres actually makes us a little bit better against hammers as well, in all fairness. Final waves, reset stamp. Would like to see another hammer go there, to be honest with you. So they're going for that turn one blitz. I mean, turn two blitz, I should say. Yeah. yeah we'll put Moltres down. Um, and we'll just research. <clears throat> So, uh, could the Dene kind of feel as if we are on a back foot a little bit here? So, I think I'm going to. Oh, Dene's. <laughs> okay. Um. We get down to the Urshifu then, in case you know stuff happens. Just pass. Decent enough pressure, right? Especially with Jirachi knocking about still. Have they got energy in discard yet? They haven't. They've got a big hand now. I don't think it's possible to get boss carried, right? Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Any hammers go? Probably not. Here comes a hammer now. Hammer heads. There's a Mewtwo. <clears throat> They put a full blitz onto Mewtwo, right? Full blitz. Okay. So we have to hopefully respond, KO. Okay, yeah? well, that's one part of the puzzle. That's a VMAX. But we just have to get this Jirachi out the active now. I don't feel as if we're asking a lot here, but. Oh, we can wait. We can pay retreat, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can pay retreat. And then we can die flame wings. I'm not going to put. Oh. Nah. Just get our first take three prizes, I think. <laughs> and that Jirachi is coming in the clutch there. Oh, there's Dene. Eh? Nice oh, you just show up. Energy switch, okay. Three prize cards left. There's a crushing hammer. Off the Moltres? What's all that about then? We can just die flame wings it back, right? So we win if we find Persimium. Um, and a scope, right? We've seen one site already, but uh, so risk I am kind of willing to take, you know, in all honesty. I guess we energy switch this one to here, right? Yeah. Uh, we've seen. Uh, what do you want to find? I want to research. I want to put that the dinner. Simeon Sight. There we go. I think that's it, right? Yeah. We call that. Time for a reload, baby! Come on! It's nice when you actually draw into the stuff you want, eh? <laughs> Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Yo, so we got some rapid strike. Moltres coming out. I need to change my song. We're going first. Okay, we get energy. We can region away dark for, for fighting. I don't mind that start at all. Change my song. All right, let's see. What are we playing against? We've got ADP sleeves. We against ADP? 
I ain't really thought about much about that matchup to be honest with you. Oh, what I think. I mean, actually, I guess it, uh, Moltres does help us against um, Crush and Hammer, to be honest with you, doesn't it? So, could he even get super clutch of it and attack to Dark, expecting it to be discarded? <laughs> that's too meta for me, though. A bit too meta for me. Okay. Two mullies, that's cool. <laughs> Got the whole squad out already. Inteleon. Okay, so we don't need that. Bench you. Bench you. Forest actually helps them. Um, Forest does have them quite a lot, especially if they're Melanie engine. Oh, they're probably Rose engine because of this. Rose or Melanie. Either way, it does kind of help them out. So I might just leave Origin in my hand, to be honest with you. We don't need another Moltres. So this could actually find us the Dene, right? Yeah. It guarantees us a fighting attachment up here. Though. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to... It does help them out a lot, but also we put a lot of pressure on with our uh, the snipe attack back there. So, start flame wings. Did NA. See if we can find long view scope and Persimian. Okay, we find none of them. We do find Air Balloon VMAX though, which is pretty cool. And then we can crow back next turn potentially, so. Okay. Let's see what they do. Have a drink of water. We have they have 200. 200 is a little bit out of our reach. We do what, 180 I think? The 120, 150, yeah. Dream, it's actually a card you don't see terribly often. Okay, that's it. Uh, right, so. We always evolve this, all right? Um, but we should actually evolve this one. I guess we can still do that girl for us play. Take one prize, a little bit weak. Boss doesn't really do us much though. I guess we can like boss this for 150. Or we can still find Crobat. Um, No, I think just, just just take the. How many cards can we see off Crobat potentially? Oh, we actually. Mm, we see a fair few. You know, I think we actually just. Let's just take the prize. We can cycle between our worship foods. I think that's fine, right? <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. Take a prize. Their, their, their start weren't really that great, right? So, they're a good card out of the prizes. Oh! If you're a fan of taking clutch prizes, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for me. Come on, you know you want to. It's free and it helps me out. Now, do they have Melanie? Could be getting Hydro sniped here. There's a Pip Stoys. So, they must, nah, they must play, um, Moth if you play Pip Stores, right? Oh, no, wait. No, wait. Melanie's just a V's, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. They have to be playing Moth. A Yelgrun. Oh. I mean, we attack for one anyway. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Does that go back to hand as well? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. You probably want to end the turn with this... This guy in the active, right? So we attach here. Do 150. I can't care when you do. He's got a two card hand. A lot of idea of doing that, you know. We're not under immediate pressure, are we? Put 150 in here. Then we could potentially rapid flow it. Maybe be busting that up for that reason is actually probably better. But air balloon. We get hit. We get hit with a max bullet now. But they only got a one card hand max, but it doesn't really bloom the game, in all honesty. Bigger two.
Oh, Demonius. Wow, okay. That's nice of them. <laughs> That's nice of them. 1-6 is even too short. No. Ooh, no hammers, please. No hammers. Want to KO that fellow. Seventy-two ten. Right, so hmm, what is our best course of action here? You have one seventy left. You have two ten. So attach this one. Touch that four card hand. Yeah, one seventy. So we don't die. 210, yeah, okay. Uh, do we mine or do we crowbar? My old miner. Okay, it's got a bit of site communication. We can actually take four prizes here if we really wanted to. But I think going like this is better, right? <clears throat> well, we could do this and just try and rapid flow again. Take two prize cards. Yeah. Go down to three. How much health do you have left? 200. Okay. Three prize cards left. So rapid flow here and here wins us the game now. There's a research. We see any energy switches yet? No. And we have seen loads of cars this turn. Not really. Telescopic sight? Doesn't matter too much. Let's see if we can do it. I think I might have misplayed a little bit here. Because this this thing max bullets again, which it will. It max bullet, we can max bullet again for game. And 200 is actually outside our reach a little bit. I say a little bit like it just is. But 10 health left. 120 health left. Boss. No, it doesn't really matter. So. I want to rapid flow this turn. So. We probably have to get Crowbat out, right? We can. So we can't attach this. We've got energy. Oh, we've got energy switch in hand already. Nice. Okay, I didn't even clock that, yo. Well, let's just see what's knocking about. So, okay, we have got three in deck. Crowbat is in deck as well. All right, so we need to thin. We need to put it on this guy as well, right? So, it will fail search there. Quick wall away that. Oh, we actually need to get a Persimmon right as well to hit 180, I think. Yeah, we do. Oh, I'm messing up my sequence in here, folks. I apologize. <clears throat> Not yet, we don't. Right, so we can attach this. We can energy switch to that. We can communicate away, Crowbat. I'm just making it harder for myself. I apologize. First time playing the deck, so cut me some slack. Crowbat. Getting bailed out. We're getting bailed out. strong the deck is you can misplay and being able to just clean up the bench like that we just snatched that man's soul let's keep it moving all right so we've got some rapid strike 
Moltres coming at you live, baby. Now I tell you, I've actually been getting screwed by going over by going first. Let's see if we get screwed over again. <laughs> yep. Um. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the simium. We're just gonna have to just attach Moltres pass. And our opponent's gonna be thinking, well, what is going on? Ooh, Viridian. Oh, Isaac, I don't know if that actually helps or Yeah, no, it can, yeah, so we can Viridian. Away dark for dark. Yep. And we can attach it. <laughs> actually doubles up as a decent little um Zamazenta route. In fact, I say that. Uh I mean yeah, no, it does. It does, to be fair. Uh we'll dark flame wings. I'm gonna attach the air blue now in case we get Marnied. Um and then done. So we do it 190, right? Not quite a one shot, what 190 leave it before 40, we can potentially side power it twice. Um realistically we, just, we might have to just two shot our Zam. <laughs> like, I can't think of I say two shot with the Moltres. Um luckily Zam doesn't one shot us though, even after we take our 30 damage, so a little bit of counterplay there. Metal goggles. Interesting that they chose to attach goggles to the active. We will still two shot that. You would imagine you want to attach the goggles back here to stop any rapid flow nonsense. Oh no, did you just stop damage counters or? Uh, attacks can't put, oh, that, okay, no. Okay, I, I'll check rubbish. Um, do you want to try and build towards a rapid flow, right? Take some prizes here. Oh, they play Luke Metal as well. Okay. <sighs> so, I mean, we have got prizes we can take. We have to be careful of this GX attack, though. Uh, Jirachi, I don't think helps us here, right? So we can, we can just take, um, we can hit in here. We can actually boss. Thinking about it, we don't see many cars that way, though. What boss KO to Dene? I mean, we can probably get Dene quite easily, right? We can put damage into here. I mean, what what is going on here? You've seen two sources. Um. I think we take our attachment now, right? I think we just put, we just Marnie, put damage in. We reduce their hand size, put damage into here. I think that's fine. And we can get down Urshifu as well. Oh, but then our hand's pretty sus, you know? Um, Maybe we could put down Crowbat. Yeah, do we actually need bosses and two switches? Probably... Mm, we need, we'll need switches for, uh, yeah, we're going to go for Crowbat. I guess my better judgment. Uh, let's see what we get. Eee, okay. Uh, Mew doesn't really help us. We'll hold on to that. Telescope of Sight doesn't help us. So we will just uh, Aura Burn into the active. It's not the worst scenario, honestly. Now, the scary thing here is if we get um, full metal walls, that could be a problem. But the nice thing about Moltres, we're going to just slowly start building towards it again, right? Shame we didn't get an Urshifu V, though. It means our Moltres is probably... Oh, they're not going for GX. Oh, okay. So if I agree with that personally. What does this do? Oh, they're going for the 190. That's a KO, right? Nice. Nice line to play, that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Or is this fire? Malo Lana? Cynthia, Caitlin, Luke, Mel. They haven't played support yet, have they? No. Did he get a supporter back? No. Chaotic Swirl. That's a nice turn from them. That's a nice turn. Okay, what does this do? 190. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Can we fling this? No. All right, that's actually uh, pretty frustrating. Not gonna lie. Oh, and the next card was a quick ball, cause of course it was. Right, so I have to start setting up an Urshifu. Uh, sight. Might have to take a turn off here. Mm, okay, we do get communications. We get Viridian back, which we obviously can't use. Um. We actually miss energy attachment though. This guy just could be a Dedene turn here, right? Um... Oh, we can actually energy. We can actually hold on, wait. We can. 
Communicate for Moltres. Usability, energy switch, den -de -den -de. Okay, I think that's correct. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we'll die flame wings. I mean, we can't actually attack this turn, but it just it does mean that we can potentially rapid flow next turn, right? So yeah, we'll bounce swell for what it's worth. <clears throat> we'll Dedene. Trying to find an energy attachment for our Urshifu here would be quite nice. We do get punished though by a, a boss intization. We've seen switch from them one switch. That's actually that kind of scary, you know. Fling. Could fling now. Mm. I don't want to actually preserve this position. I mean, if possible, right? Yeah, but it's actually quite important. Hmm. All these cards are really good. Yeah, Basimian's like really important so we can like KO this thing, right? But then who do we let them have? Do we just let them have a Crobat? How much do I do one night? Maybe we can just leave. Oh, we can strafe as it goes, right? Strafe and then leave like a Dedenne or a Crobat. Damage could actually matter. We could go into this and force... Look, that's actually probably our best shout. Because they can't actually carry that with them rapid... That max strike will force them to actually have the Brave Blade. <clears throat> Under five card. I mean, it's, 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 it's possible. I just need to switch, so. Ooh, do they have bosses orders with a Zation? Oh. That's rough. Interesting that they go for GX over, um... <sighs> okay, so we just die flame wings. Strafe into this, and hopefully we top there something good. We're getting, um, we are getting a bit, uh, made to look a bit silly here. <laughs> How many research we got left in there? We got three research left in there. Okay. They take a turn off to Intrepid, wow. Sad. Get research off the top though. Dire flame wings. Research. All right, let's see what we can do. So. We can like what KO that, KO that, free prize turn, and we have to just knock out the Lucario Melmetal. Uh, seems legit. Seems legit. What KO this? We've got damage there. I guess we can always damage the. Maybe put damage in here. Stop them attacking. Not actually sure what is correct. Uh, but the Luke Metal is by far the easiest thing, right? So, we definitely take out Bronzong. We could just take three prizes now. Uh, or we can KO this. Uh, actually, we could Gale for us this turn, put 150 in here, then boss. Okay, that and that go down to five. But no, no, we have to definitely KO okay, that. Right, so do we just take five prizes? Four, uh, three prizes, sorry? No. I think damage has to go there, right? 
Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it only does 90. Oh. I'm throwing the game, folks. Don't know why you come to this channel to watch me play when I'm clearly awful. <laughs> That's, oh, wow. We are bad at this game. <clears throat> so. Our next turn, we can Gale Frost, Boss, KO this. In ideal world, we're trying to try and rapid flow next turn, right? We've seen one energy switch, so it is possible. Switch into this, evolve, okay. Interesting to choosing to power up this fella. I do find that interesting. <clears throat> Okay, she has sort of tackle 130. Okay. We can always carry this with the Moltres, right? So I'm not really fussed. So, switch. How much have you got left? 200. So you have to definitely KO the Zacian in an ideal world, right? So we'll attach there. Um, yeah, we'll research. We're definitely carrying bonds on this turn. Uh, oh, we do get energy switch. Nosk actually kind of forgot that we needed that. There we go there. Do you have any rapid strike energies left? Yeah, we should, unless they're prized. So, what is our play now? We KO this, KO that, three prizes, then we can just... It's actually not very good prize mapping though, right? But KO this, KO... That's still correct though, I think, right? Or we can KO... KO these two, go down to four, then we just KO the Zam. I think that's correct. We should have a boss left as well, hopefully, unless it's prized. I think that's correct. See if I'm right. So what are we doing? So we're KOing what these two. <clears throat> How much health have I got left? 20. And it has got goggles as well. Right, carry that, carry that, then we just carry the Zam. Um... Yeah, okay. So even though we're, we're, we're an extremely bad player, we might be able to get out of this. <laughs> we did get energy switch out the prizes. <clears throat> Doesn't take a care with that, right? This could actually be stuck in the active as well. We didn't actually get um are they boss us? Boss into crowbar. Okay. I think I'll tap with this. Okay. Metal goggles active. Oh there's oh they're gonna KO us. So wait a minute. Can we not? Dig for our last, we could just rapid flow again, right? Here and here. Rapid flow three turns in a row. I think that's correct. We've got energy, so we have to just draw into our rapid strike energy. Hold on, what have we? We've only seen two. So that, that, that does work, right? Yeah, just rapid flow there, there, there. Yeah, so there we go, look, top deck. Energy switch. There. Retreat. Yeah, rapid flow there, there. That needs a reload, baby. That needs a reload. Bring it back. How can someone play so bad and still win? Because rapid flow in every turn is really good. <laughs> oh dear, let's keep it moving. I wonder if they're AFK, they're taking a very long time. That happens quite a lot, doesn't it, when you're playing, and you think about it, right? Like, you'll be playing, and in the time it takes people to hit search game and find a game, so many people got AFK. Now, what are you guys doing to where you click, you click search for a game, and then you just disappear? Like, what happens? We're going, oh, likes. Look at that, two rapid strike energy and a research. It's costly. It's costly. 
Uh, we Mulligan, not them as well, so no chance of that. Quick Ball would be a fantastic card to get. Uh, poke Communication wouldn't be. I guess it's just Quick Ball then. Or one of our four Urshifus. That's a Ziggy. What are we playing against? What are we playing against? That is... That is the question. Or we could draw a pass. Uh, did we get with a two rapid strike energy? No, go on then. Right, so. This can find. Do you have our other ones in deck still? Okay, they are both in deck to be fair. I've just made them count, which I'm you know, I'm, I'm okay with that, really. Um, I'll answer that quick, but we'll quit back next turn, evolve, switch, guarantee ourselves a Gale Frost. <clears throat> what are we playing against? Uh, we see a Sonya. Ooh. Turn it as Sonya. Is that a thing? It means you're not very good if you go first, though. Oh, it's Dragapult. Okay. Pushing hammer. Okay. So, what is our play now? We have not got a lot of resources left. Um, this isn't a KO, is it? 60? No, okay. So, Drew actually wasn't prized. I checked for it earlier. I didn't check for it, but I saw it. Yeah. Then we'll research. I mean, the girl for us tier like isn't really the end of the world. I'm just worried about energy. Like we really haven't got that many. We have dark in the discard. We do. Oh, Moltres! As it goes, hello. Forgot about you. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Energy switch next turn potentially. So we just go for us. <clears throat> Complete forgot about more. Just gonna help us in this matchup. Down, down two hammers in the final waves already. Moltres is the problem. They even they don't even uh No, they they, they do two shot it to be fair. Gengar Mimi. That's a card. <laughs> we getting horror house for one? No. Didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> oh, boss! Energy switch. Oh, close. I know. When happened without you? Ooh. Um. We just touch here. See no reason to, right? Not to, I should say. Uh. Energy switch up here doesn't really achieve much. Um, we KO this on the bench already. I think we just have to... Yeah. We'll save the boss when we can try and be clinical. Oh, we do zero. Oh, I forgot resistance. Resistance is 30, these things. <clears throat> Maybe the goal is to like, make us draw up. And then try and poltergeist this. Which actually isn't too bad of a plan, really. Since we've got four in our hand already. <clears throat> Have you seen a boss from them? What is that? Search your deck for a quick ball. Okay. Wow, they play two fan of waves and crushing hammer. So they're going for a switch. Oh, they can just pay retreat, right? Oh, boss, yeah, okay. Are they going for the Poltergeist? The Horror House. You definitely have the Horror House first, right? We didn't get into the Dark in the bit. Oh, we should have energy switched. Ah! -ha -ha! To be fair, though, we can just get out another Moltres. Like, I'm not... I mean, it's not, like, a perfect plan, but... Horror House. Okay. <clears throat> We can even retreat. 
Didn't think about that. Yeah, that's actually the best player. <laughs> I mean, they forgot about that, didn't they? Uh, so we'll go for a stop here. <clears throat> Yeah, this is a big problem for them to deal with, all right? That ain't dealing with it. We can boss that. We'll wrap a flow at some point as well. Ooh. They definitely take a KO there. Sorry for, sorry for hitting the mark then. Now, what is the maths? This has a lot of... Um... <clears throat> right, so we die flame wings. All right, yeah. We can even quick well out another one, right? Oh, I mean, we can't die flame wings twice in a turn. We can like play our hand down and boss this. Maybe that's actually our best play, right? Yeah, okay, let's do that then. So, quick ball. Oh, wait, that's trying to get rid of as many trainers as possible. Uh, we can attach sight. We can Viridian away switch. Hopefully, you know, the dark's in deck. It's not. Okay. Actually, might hold on to this. Boss that. Or a burn. And here you can see exactly what the Moltres is for, right? Three prize cards. Very nice. Oh, we've got to be careful. We actually take as many, too many trainers here, right? Five, ten. Okay, we're fine for that. <clears throat> so we can just KO this Gengar Mimi. We can't. How's that taking one? Oh, it took a rapid flow. Oh, it's okay. A girl for us, right? Yeah. Leon. That's not a KO, surely. No. Okay. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, so you saw a game where Moltres came handy, being able to just take an otherwise bad matchup, just flip it, pretty good. Now, don't get it twisted, I know I probably didn't play these games perfect, but you know me, I'll show you the deck and you guys play it better. If you have more, yeah, if you have the more Chilling Rain content, you hit that like and subscribe button for me, okay? Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.